So there's a lot of hubbub going on about how much these beauty influencers make. And before I jump into that topic, I wanna tell you a little story, all right? So for those of you who aren't in the know when it comes to gaming, there's a gigantic multi-million dollar summer series for Fortnite going on, right? And my son loves this game. He loves Fortnite so much. He plays, he's pretty good for a nine-year-old. And I'm telling him about this tournament and these professional players that he likes to watch. I'm like, Dylan, they're making so much money. I'm like, the winner of this tournament is getting 10 of thousands of dollars and if they get this many points they're getting like ten thousand dollars on top of that some of the guys got over a hundred thousand dollars and my son kind of gets this little mm, this little stink face right i'm like what's wrong and he's like well that's not fair he's like i want to i want to win money i want to play you know and and he tells me like he's jealous that these guys all they got to do is play a video game and they win all this money and i'm like dylan you're looking at this in the exact wrong way What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. I am not a drama channel. But what I like to do, I like to pull things that are going on in society or in the community and try to teach you what you can learn to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff and wanna get mentally and emotionally fit, make sure you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on ever since uh, Makeup Geek made that video about how much beauty influencers are getting paid. Now, before I talk about that, I need to put a disclaimer, and I know some of you it's gonna go in one ear and out the other, but let me explain, okay? I, I think a lot of people completely missed the point of her video, like completely missed the point of her video. What she was talking about is friends, friends who she helped build up in the community. They have turned on her and are trying to charge astronomical amounts of money, all right? Like nobody is saying that you shouldn't make money off this thing, okay? So I've seen a bunch of other responses, like everybody is making these videos now, like my truth all over the place, right? And like, she's not saying you shouldn't make money off this, but it's like taking advantage of a small business owner and the situation that they're in. You know what I mean? Like, are you really gonna charge your friend like that much money? Like, what happened to like a favor or charging less or a reasonable price. Like that that's mainly what she was saying. And I just wanted to address that because I think a lot of people are missing that point. And it kind of blows my mind. Like what, what fascinates me is what people hear and what people choose to hear. But anyways, I just wanted to touch on that. So yeah, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's cool. Like if they want to charge multi-million dollar companies $60,000 to do something like, Cool, go for it. But like, I I've seen a lot in my comments, I've seen the comments on other channels or on Twitter and Instagram, a lot of people are like, I didn't know they made that much money. I didn't know. And like, here's the thing, like, we're gonna talk about being a hater. I used to be the biggest hater. I hated anybody who was successful, just anybody. I see what they had and I, I wanted it and I was mad at them because they had it. And I would just go through my head and the reason number 5,068 why I say we talk about the problem and focus on the solution, I would sit there and I would obsess about what they have and what I don't have rather than focusing on the solution of how do I get what they have? What are they doing? So going back to that little story I was telling you about my son, I was telling him, I'm like, Dylan, you live in an amazing time where you have the opportunity to get good at something you love and make a living off of it. Like, that's the way you need to be looking at it. So all of you out there who aren't YouTubers or influencers or whatever, like, that's the mindset you need to get in. Not like, oh my God, they make way too much money off this. It's no, it's like, you can do it too. Like I made a video um, where I reviewed Gary Vaynerchuk crushing it and I made a video about so many of you out there are depressed and you go into a job that you hate every single day and it's making you so depressed, it's soul crushing and you go home and you just wanna zone out because you absolutely hate your job. You guys, it's 2018, okay? You are in a place where you can do something you love and make money from it. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. You can do something that you love and make money from it. Is it easy? Heck no. You guys, you guys, I work a full-time job and this is my second video today. I do this and I'm bringing in a little extra income to help support myself and my son and things like that because I like to talk about mental health. I like to help people. So I'm doing this and I got a little extra money coming in. You guys all have this opportunity. Like, 
man, I just can't explain it. Like it, you know, 10, 20 years ago when people were stuck at a dead end job and hated it, I was like, man, that sucks. Because you needed a certain degree, you need a certain education, you need to know somebody, you need to do that. Like Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this all the time. Like there is no more middleman. You, if you have the talent, if you have the skill, and if you're willing to work hard for it, you can be that person. Yeah, you, you, I'm talking to you. You can be that person who's making $60,000 to post an Instagram post for somebody but it takes time it takes effort you got to grow a following you got to put in work you got to put blood sweat tears into this thing there isn't much free time there's no more binge watching netflix for days on end like it takes hustle it takes grind so like i just wanted to make this video like don't hate on people because they're making a bunch of money like good for them like Something that I've mentioned in another video that like really stuck in my head is like, you guys, success and happiness are not a limited resource. Just because somebody has it, doesn't mean that you can't get it too. You can have just as much happiness and success as the next person. It's just, are you willing to work for it? That's the thing. So somebody else's happiness is not taking away from your happiness. Someone else's success is not taking away from the, your success. You have the opportunity to do these things today. All right, so I will put a link down to Gary Vaynerchuk's book, Crushing It, in the description. Like, if you are not understanding the words coming out of my mouth, pick up that book. Like. Like, I'm not telling you to quit your job or anything like that, but like, you really gotta understand, like, these people didn't get to where they were by slacking. They didn't get to where they were by not taking risks. They didn't get to where they were by not hustling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do it too. We live in a beautiful time. I know things are not perfect. Like, trust me, I know things in our country or in this world are not perfect, but this is one thing that you can do to reach people directly about something that you're passionate about, something that you're good at, and start to grow a following and have the chance to do something that these beauty gurus are doing. So even if you're watching this and you're somebody who's not into, you know, beauty guru stuff, maybe you're into like, I don't know, photography or video games. Like video games, like, do you guys, do you guys understand what's going on? Like. People like 10, 15 years ago were saying like, people who play video games are nerds and losers and da 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 da. Now, now you have these people who are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. I think the last time I checked, like Ninja was making a half a million a month. Like that is bananas. Like if you go watch a Twitch stream, people are just throwing money at them just to talk to them and watch video games. Like, I don't know, man. I just wanted to go on this rant. Like, again, let me go back to the beginning of this video. I think a lot of people miss the point of Marlena's uh, video. Like, it's not saying that people shouldn't make money. It's just saying, like, don't step on people. Don't treat people unfairly. Like, what? Like, imagine if, like, my, my grandma, like, asked me to go help her out, and I was like, well, how much are you gonna pay me? Like, what are you talking about? But anyways, I'm not gonna go into that rant. I already covered it in the other video about uh, Marlena. Like, go go watch that. Anyways, anyways, again, I'm gonna link that book down in the description below. And leave comments, leave comments down below. Like, let me know. Like, I don't know, if you wanna get open and honest, like, are you upset at how much they're making out of jealousy? Like, be honest about it. You know, like, do you not think they deserve to make, like, why not? I don't know, I just, I wanna talk to you guys and maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And in case you didn't know, the Rewired Soul store is up and running. You can click or tap on that little shop button right there. Go check it out, get yourself some merch. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.